everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Booker Designs. I'm gonna show you one of the most adorable things we've got in stock right now. It is called the Penguin Place Bundle. It is adorable. I really like that there's all these little accessories. I always feel like it's, I don't know, like playing with a dollhouse or something, making a little scene. Um, and that's what I've done here. I'm gonna show you how to do this. There's another thing I wanna point out to you. This is in the 2021 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. This adorable paper that coordinates is in our Celebration Part 2 uh, catalog. Everything in the Celebration catalog is free with either a $50 or $100 purchase. And here's the paper. Um, it's 12 by 12. You get two sheets of each piece. It's called Penguin uh, Playmates. Did I say that right? I always want to say Peaceful Penguin, but that's... I don't know what that is. Yes, Penguin Playmates. It's funny how something can get stuck in your mind and then you can't you can't shake it. So you're gonna get two sheets of each of these. Um, these little guys are fun to fussy cut. There's a good stripe that we're using on our card. These are really cute. A great stripe that I've used on some masculine projects that weren't necessarily penguin related. Another cute pattern with some trees. Now this one, this paper is really cool because the um, punch will actually punch out this penguin. So if you're in a, a hurry and you wanna just make a card fast, you can punch out those penguins. And then a Just Jade pattern on the back, and then we've got a polka dot also. And this is the other pattern we are using right here, the Fresh Freeze Yet Little Snowflakes. And then these are just repeats. So you'll get two of each, totally free, with a $50 purchase. And that, that's stackable, if you spend 150, you get three items um, or a $100 item and a $50 item. So take advantage of it. Something tells me that this paper is gonna sell out. Everything in this catalog are while supplies last, um, which <laughs> makes everybody a little nervous. So prioritize the things that you love in here and get the things you love the most first. Um, it's hard to tell what will sell out. We don't know how much product we have um, in the warehouse and we don't know how much everybody's going to want it. So uh, make sure you act fast. Uh, this paper is worth getting even if you don't get the bundle. The, the flip side patterns are really, really good too. All right, let's get started. Um, let's make our card base first, all right? We're going to use a Fresh Freesia card base. And this is just a half a sheet of cardstock. I cut it four and a fourth and scored it at five and a half. I have cut a piece of that cute paper, three by four. And the measurements for this card, as well as the supplies and two other celebration projects are over on my blog. If you click the link here on YouTube, it'll take you over there. Um, the PDF's totally free. Um, so don't feel like you have to frantically write it all down. It's there for you. All right, we're gonna put that one there. I really like that stripe. Then I have cut a little Rick Rack um, soft sea foam. These are the basic border dies in the annual catalog, a staple, a must have. I love them. So I use this one to cut the Rick Rack. And we are going to put that on. Now, of course, you can order anything you want, but if you've got those border dies and the penguin bundle, you would be over the $50 mark where you could get the paper absolutely free. Okay, now let's get to the fun part. We have a um, basic white stitched scallop rectangle cut with the stitched so sweetly dies. And we're gonna do our background on there, but let's make our little penguin first. I'm gonna stamp him in memento black, right? And when you have a punch, you wanna kind of plan it out. So if I was to punch him down here, I'd have to cut my paper. Um, I can stick my paper in from the bottom. So I'm gonna stamp him up here at the top. All right. Now we have a little beak to put on him. And when I first stamped him, I put his beak way down low, but it didn't look right. So I went to look and their beaks are pretty high up right there. Now we're going to stamp a um, scarf, of course. He needs a cute purple scarf. Okay. And then let's see, we'll move him aside 
and we will stamp the background. All right, we're gonna create that snow hill with misty moonlight ink. And I don't really even need to ink the whole stamp. I'm just gonna put it right about there. All right. And um, we're gonna do, oh, the sentiment. I love the sentiment. It says, be cool, be chill, be merry. Isn't that cute? So fun. I'm gonna put that right there in the middle in uh, Fresh Freesia. Then I'm gonna grab my Just Jade ink and we've got this little tree here. And I'm gonna stamp it twice, one there and one there. Okay, now let's get our penguin out because we're gonna put these little funny antlers on him and we need to know where he's going before we um, stamp it. Now look, I if I was to leave that, I would have punched out that scarf with that part. So you gotta make sure you're planning ahead when you stamp these things. All right, I'm gonna line that up, got that. Now I'm gonna come over here and punch a couple of Calypso coral feet for him. There we go. Now we're gonna do just a little bit of fussy cutting with the scarf. It's all straight lines, it's not too hard. Just get your best pair of scissors and go around the edges like that. And easy as that. You know what, let's do, let's go right in here between those. Cut that V out. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of Tombow liquid glue right here and right here for his little feet. And if you have your take your pick tool, you can use that putty end to pick those little tiny pieces up. And then we can even use it for that. Okay, so now we're gonna use cinnamon cider to stamp the little antlers on him. And I kinda of wanna put him where I think he'll need to go and kind of eyeball that right there. And then we'll get a dimensional or two. Put those right there and we will put him right under those cute antlers. <laughs> so fun. All right, now we're gonna put this on here with dimensionals. I think this stamp set would be great for kids too. I think they would have fun with all the different combinations you could do with this cute guy and the other penguin on there. All right, now I'm gonna use some of this uh, uh, gingham ribbon. It's just jade and it's part of the Flowers for Every Season pack. And it's one of my favorites. Anything gingham is my one of my favorites. Okay, so we've got a bow. And I'm just gonna use a glue dot. This is a pretty big bow, so probably would be better to use liquid glue. But for the video, we're gonna use a glue dot. All right, there you have it. Very simple and easy and fun. If you love punches, you will love this bundle. Um, when you when you use the bundle number, you're gonna get a 10% dis discount. So make sure you don't order them separately. Order them as the one bundle number. Check that PDF, I've got the number listed on there for you. All right, make sure you hop back over. I've got two other celebration projects this week, um, both with videos, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.